Okay, we're here at the Ventura Botanical Gardens and it um, works its way up the hill and you can see the little town of Ventura with the pier and the breakwaters in the distance. And um, wow, honey, so tell us a little bit about what we're, what we're gonna see in this video. We broke out of Truckee. Um, it's possibly, looks like it's the most snow locally in our area um, since before 1970 and maybe ever. Um, so lots and lots of shoveling and we just finally decided to break away for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then so, what have we yeah, been up so to? So you'll see all of the work we did to get out of there and uh, there was a, quite a blizzard. And then we made it down to the Bay Area and between skiing and shoveling, we've also um, been looking for a new boat. And so we'll have videos in the future um, to show you our reviews of those different boats that we looked at. But in this video, it's just about getting away from Truckee and getting back to the harbor and just the, the beauty that we're experiencing uh, today and yesterday and the day before. And then probably <laughs> we're sharing um, why we're looking for a new boat. So we've loved uh, rejoicing and I think the biggest thing is that with me having had 20 years of sailing experience in my youth, even though I'd stopped for about 35 years, um, in getting a boat in the mid 30s size, rejoicing as a 35 foot Chanel Sun Odyssey, um, basically the idea is you're familiarizing yourself with a larger boat, but then to really do relatively comfortable coastal cruising, you're typically going to want to bump up to boats in the lower 40s especially and then for some folks if they have a lot of money um, they might even go into the high 40s or 50s but for us i think the sweet spot is likely to be in the low 40s um, but we've seen a lot of beautiful boats and we're anxious to share our thoughts on those in some future videos yeah so, absolutely yeah so stay tuned survived the blizzard. It's very beautiful. The trees are so full of snow. And this is from our upstairs deck. Our backyard is now level with the upstairs deck. And there's our neighbor's house that's completely buried. Here's our downstairs deck. <laughs> so our snow pile service missed us today. And despite several texts back and forth saying that they were coming, they never came. So Blair was able to get the driveway uh, mostly done with the snow blower, but there was about a five to six foot high pile of snow at the end of the driveway from the city plow. And it was probably, well, I'll show you it. Um, so we've knocked it down quite a bit now. So yeah, probably more like five feet, if you can see that. Um, here, I'll show you with, with me. So yeah, probably about five feet of snow. And then um, it started here and goes all the way to the street. So it's probably about oh, eight or 10 feet um, from here to the end of the street. So we've actually, with shovels, knocked quite a bit of it down. And then once we get it wide enough for the car to get out, Blair's gonna try the snow blower over the rest of it um, so that we can hopefully get out of here tomorrow because today 80 is still closed. The storm ended last night, but they have not been able to get 80 open. All right, so it's March 1st, 2023. We just learned that at the Sierra Snow Lab, which is near Sugar Bowl, um, they've been recording super accurate snow measurements since 1970. 
and for the season ending February 28 yesterday it broke the all-time record so the highest uh, in 53 years and because records weren't kept quite as meticulously before that there will be healthy debate whether we're ahead of 1952 or not that was the absolute biggest year ever so today sadly our plow service skipped us they forgot to come this does happen on a rare basis. It's the first time it's happened to us with them. As soon as I shoveled it until I could finally come in with the snowblower and hit it. And so as soon as Interstate 80 opens, we are going to get out of Dodge. And it for looks a like there's while. just enough room for the car to get it through. So I'm six feet four, and that's what our snowblower had to blast through today. And then if I raise my hand, I'm still standing on a little bit of snow, probably about four inches. My hand is eight feet, so you can see the top of that is over ten feet. This is an Ego, E-G-O, 24-inch snowblower. This is my third season having it, and um, most people say it's a no-go. I disagree. <laughs> Look at the proof. We are very excited. We made it to 80 after punching out of our driveway yesterday and staying home overnight because the freeway was closed and today there's no chains um, it's kind of a mystery why it's been closed for so long so far I haven't heard anything why it was open eastbound and uh, yay we're, we're escaping the blizzards because there's more coming it was really beautiful all right there's castle peak up there and boy, this road was closed for over two and a half days, I believe. Uh, that is the longest I can remember it having been closed in, in quite a few years. After a stop in Carmichael to visit my mom, we headed to the Bay Area for some boat shopping. Yeah, We're just walking really down this super long dock. Yeah, long dock in this marina. Just because we can. Looking at all the beautiful boats. And we're just heading back, but nice view this direction too. All these beautiful houses tucked into the hillside, or almost to the top of the hillside actually, across from the marina. We're in the public parking lot there. After stopping in Berkeley to look at another boat, we headed over to Point Richmond for a walk and dinner at Ons. Okay, we're at Point Richmond having a nice walk. And what's the name of the park, honey? Uh, it's called the Miller Knox Park. It's part of the East Bay Regional Parks District. They have so many incredible parks on the East San Francisco Bay. Yeah, you can see the city over there. Um, I understand there's over 300 miles of um, trails developed that are co cover going around the entire bay. There's a plan for over 500. So we're, I think we're going to have to, you know, challenge ourselves to eventually walk all that's available, not in one day, but just over time. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful views of the bay and the city from this park. I guess that's the old ferry where the ferry used to come in, right? Yeah, indeed. And then Mount Tamalpais is over there. And, and then, then again, the Richmond the... San Rafael Bridge. And then back over here is the town of Richmond where you can see there's Point a- Point Richmond. But then you also have these beautiful hills with hiking trails. You can see some people up there hiking. And then just over here is when you get closer to the yacht club that's and the, the marina. the Richmond Yacht Club, yeah. all those masts. So really, and really beautiful nice paved trails here around this lake and along the bay so yeah we're, we're pretty excited to hopefully have more time to explore this area Hi, my 
my dear, where Hi, are honey. we? We are at On in um, Richmond, having some dinner. And it's a little bit cold because it's evening, but it's beautiful. Yeah, and what about the marina behind us? Oh, it's really lovely. And we've uh, walked a lot of those docks looking for a slip and yeah, it's nice. All right, yeah, it's just beautiful out. Check out this beautiful sky at the Richmond Harbor. We just had a yummy dinner at Ons. After spending the night in a hotel in Livermore, we began our journey down to Channel Islands Harbor. We are stopped at Harris Ranch to get um, a little refreshment and go to the bathroom and look at the snow on the mountains. All right, we are on Interstate 5. Now we're just north of the Grapevine, which is the part of Interstate 5 that's going to curve its way through that canyon up there. Pretty rare to see this much snow. I've probably only seen it like this a few times in my life. All right, so now we're in the beginning of the canyon of the Grapevine. And um, it's awfully pretty in here, yeah, very unusual. Not quite enough snow to ski yet. And I don't normally ever think of bringing skis down south. Well, we escaped the snow in Truckee to find snow from our condo on Channel Islands Harbor at the top, I think they're called Topa Topa Mountains. Beautiful. We're in the Chile section of the Ventura Botanical Garden. Not a lot is blooming yet, but there is a little bit. We are now in the California section of the Botanical Garden. Yeah, we came from down below there, the bottom of the canyon. You can see those kind of whitish, I don't know if they're like flower petals on the asphalt at the bottom.
worth the hike up to the South African garden past all of the non-blooming, barely blooming gardens. <laughs> yeah. Don't be fooled if you come to the Ventura Botanical Gardens and you don't see something blooming down below. Keep going. What I find uh, remarkable is how they'd used this piece of land above the town that's just um, steep hills and just made these trails and terraced it. Well, and they still have clearly a lot more land, um, so it looks like their plan is just to keep going, I would guess. Yeah, I think right now there's three gardens. There's the Chilean garden, which is um, the lower garden. There's the California with the Mediterranean influence garden. And then there's the African garden. Thank you.